In this section, I'm going to show you how you can handle select drop down lists, right? So in every application, you will find uh, these drop down lists. Sometimes they are like uh, normal elements, but sometimes they are this select items, right? Select drop down lists. So in case these um, these elements come with a select tag, then you can use these different select methods which are already available in Selenium WebDriver to uh, do operations on to do different operations on this uh, drop down list, right? So let's go into our application and find such an element so that we can automate that, right? So going to this demo application and uh, on this page, so I can see only one drop, drop down, right? Now, first let's uh, check it out whether it's a select drop down or not, right? So if you can see uh, on the HTML DOM, right? So there is a select tag with the name, title, ID, class, right? So this is a select drop down, and if I further if I further increase this, right? So further look down into this drop down. So there are option and values, right? So there are different values which are present in this drop down. So if you want to select any one of them, you have got these options, and then you have got the values also, right? So we are going to see how uh, we can do different operations on this. Uh, drop down, drop down menu, right? So let's first look at uh, these three uh, methods, right? Select by visible text, select by index, and select by value. So in Selenium, we have a select class, right? So which provides all these methods. And uh, so this is the select class, right? So once you create an object of this particular class and then you give uh, you need to pass the element in this select object which you are select object instance which you are creating right so once you do that then you will see all the methods which are present so first we need to identify this drop down so we have got the id as title so we can easily identify this select drop down with this id so let's do that we'll create a web element here and same we will find the element using the id so by dot id and this title right so this is our element uh, so we have got our select of um, select object right now if i type select and do a dot you will see all the methods which i have listed down there right so select by index select by visible text uh, deselect select by value right so in drop downs generally the operation which you perform is selecting a particular value right now there are different ways of doing that there are different methods which are available so the first method is select by visible text. Now, what is visible text? So what text is being displayed uh, on the page, right? So please select Mr, Mrs, and Miss, right? So these are the text which are visible on the page. So that is called the visible text. And you can directly use this to select any item from the dropdown, right? So let's do that. So we'll type select by visible text and we'll select the first item so which is mr right so this is our visible text right we want to select this so let's go ahead and run this So it's going to select that uh, first value with the visible text, which we have provided, right? So next we'll see how we can select a particular item by its value. And then we'll see how we can select it by index, right? So here is the page and it should select 
yeah so it selected the first value right okay so this is how you select your value by visible text so the next uh, method is select by value now what's the difference between visible text and value right it depends on your HTML element um, if your visible text and value are same then you can use the same same text if they are different so you need to pick the value from here right so option value equals to mister so this is your value right and this is your visible text so sometimes it both may be same uh, sometimes it may be different so depending on your uh, HTML element right you should pick up the value accordingly so for us uh, it's both are same right so I'll just comment this out so that we can look at select by value So it should select the same value. Okay, so we have got the same value here. Okay, so now we should look at the third method, which is select by index, right? now index it, it is pretty similar to how we used to uh, use it in our find element or xpath xpath methods right so it counts the index of the items and it selects the value so in this case if i give an index s2 it's going to select a mess this third item right so zero one and two so this is uh, the second index okay so uh, so let's let's do that uh, let's run it so depending on the situation uh, or uh, if you have got a visible text you should go uh, with that same text if you have got a value you can go with the value or if you have not got any visible text or value you can probably use index right so it has selected the second index from the items. And this is how we use all the three methods which are available to select the values in the select dropdown, right? Now, coming to next uh, methods. So these are get options, get all selected options, and get first selected option, right? So options, uh, as I showed you, uh, so in the in your HTML element, under the select dropdown, you have got options and values, right? So using this option tag, you can actually get all the options which are available in your uh, select dropdown as a list, right? So it's sometimes useful if you want to iterate through each item and you want to compare them, right, with your expected values. So this way, you can get all the options which are available. Similarly, you can get uh, the first selected option. That means uh, the first value which is already selected. And uh, so, and the other one was get all selected options, uh, which means if it is a multi-value select, right? So if the select element allows multiple elements to be selected, then you can use uh, the get all, uh, I mean, all, all selected options to see all the options which can be selected at a time right so let's see how we can do this so we need a list first list of web element so that we can store all those options right so i will use elements here and we'll use select dot get options right that will return me a list of elements so basically the select items and then I can easily iterate through this and I can print the text of those values. So let's do that. Um, okay, so web element, element, right? 
so we already have um, okay let's use this okay here um, i will just print so ele dot get text right so it will print all the text of all the elements which are present in that select drop down so let's check it out Okay, so if I expand this console, you can see here it has provided all the four values which are present in this select drop down, right? It has printed all the text. So this is quite useful if you want to validate all your values. Right? So um, now that we have seen this, let's uh, look at some other options like uh, the other methods which is get all selected options and get first selected option right so select dot get first selected option and select dot get all selected options right so um, this will also return your list but as i said this time around it is not a multiple select element so it might not return you the desired elements right it will return only the first option we'll see uh, what is a multiple how you can verify whether it is a multiple select or not right so we'll look at that now this will return an element this will return us all the elements right so options and i'll just take this or let it or we'll take it out so so this uh should okay let's print that value so that we'll know what it is printing so element one dot get text and again here we will use this for to print all the elements so we'll use options here so let's print this out right let's check this out Right, so as you can see, the first selected option by default, what is selected, please select. That's why it is giving us this value. So it's the first selected option, right? And then get all selected options. Also it is giving this because we just have one item, one value which is selected, right? So if there are multiple values which are selected, then you can use this a uh, method to get all the selected options so all the options which are already selected right so but that will only work with multiple select not with a single select right so let's uh, we are talking about the multiple select now how you can verify that for a select drop down right so we can use the is multiple method so if i go here and i use a boolean value right so is true equals to select dot is multiple right and then just print it out so it is going to return your false because this drop down doesn't allow you to select multiple values so that's the functionality of is multiple you can easily verify whether it's a multiple select or it does only allows single select right so this should return false
Uh, let's quickly verify this. Okay, so it has printed false, right? So it's not a multiple select element. So it doesn't allow us to uh, select multiple ele elements at a time, right? Now, in case uh, it is a multiple select, you can use the same methods multiple times to select multiple values, right? So how you can do is you can use this select, right? So you can use this way to select multiple values. So you can write two statements with the same method and two different values. It will select both the values if it is a multiple select. Right. So these are the, all the methods which are available for a select uh, select drop down. Now there are some other methods uh, also available like deselect all, deselect by index, deselect by value, deselect by visible text. But the only important thing here is it's only applicable for multi select drop down. So you cannot use these methods uh, on a single select drop down, right? Because you cannot deselect all uh, because you have just selected one value, right? So these values uh, only work with the multi-select dropdown, right? And uh, to use them, it's pretty easy. So you need to write the same way, right? So deselect by value, and then you give the value here, right? So similarly, you can use uh, deselect by index, and so here you can give a particular index, right? And if you give uh, deselect all, then it will deselect all the values. So this is the purpose of deselect. Uh, I don't have an example, real time example, but you can always try it out whenever, wherever you find a multiple select um, option, right? So that's all for. Uh, how to work on select drop down lists right so in the next section we will uh, look at the actions class and maybe some other methods which are available in selenium webdriver